The national coordinator of the presidential task force on COVID-19, Sunny Aliyu, has asked banks and officers to start adjusting their structure as the federal government ponders lifting restrictions. Aliyu stated this during the PTF's daily briefing on Thursday. He reiterated the 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. working hours and need to adhere to physical distancing. For banks and other financial institutions as well as offices, he emphasized now is the opportunity to start adjusting to the new life post-COVID as government lift restrictions over the next few weeks. Joining us live is Dr. Gutswil Omunaya. Thank you very much for joining us on the news. Good morning. Good Thanks morning. For having me here. It's a pleasure. The WHO says 83,000 to about 190 people in Africa could die from the virus and about 29 million to 44 could get infected in the first year of the pandemic if containment measures fail. Now, how would you access measures to curtail the virus so far, particularly in Nigeria? Um, thank you very much. Uh, what I can say is uh, the, the, the contained measures in my own assessment are not, are not really satisfactory. Yeah, why do I say this? Because we still have a rising uh, incidence of COVID-19. The, the, the curve, the curve has not flattened yet in most African nations. We are, we, we are not really testing enough. And then our health system is still very weak. We don't have active um, case finding in place. And there's a low risk perception of the people. So if, if you ask me, I, I will tend to agree with um, the, uh, the WHO that if, if nothing is done, we are really going to have a, a lot of problems with COVID-19 as it affects Africa. Yeah, so, and then also, even, even, even the, the, the measures that are being put in place, we, we, we see that they are not really being enforced. People are, are meant to stay at home. For instance, in our country, there is a um, restriction of interstate movement, but yet you see people traveling from Lagos to the southeast, from the southeast to Abuja, from Abuja to the southeast, from the north to, you know, so, uh, and, and the people are meant to, you know, to help control this. They are not doing what they ought to do. All so right. If you ask me, I would think that, yeah. Okay, so I, 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 before we go ahead to continue to dissect some of the developments, I want you to uh, share your thoughts on the uh, concern being raised over the viral video of people in isolation. What we know for a fact is that this disease is not always a life sentence from the number of people that have recovered from it, and that some people might be asymptomatic. So wh why do you think there is so much, um, you know, reaction to the video of people staying, trying to stay a bit in isolation? <laughs> I, I, I've, I, I've not watched the video, but, uh, but I think that if someone is in isolation and, uh, and, and there's anything the person can do to, you know, to feel good, to, to have some kind of recreation, I think that should be encouraged. You can't just keep people in isolation, they're away from their families and loved ones, and then you expect them to just sit on the bed all day long, waiting for the doctor to come and give them drugs. I mean, so if, 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 they, if they have something they can do, you know, to recreate, you know, to, to, to feel like humans again, then I think it should be encouraged. They, they, they should not be condemned for, for, dance, for dancing. Well, I didn't see the video. After all, everyone in the isolation is, um, is, um, is, is, is a confirmed case of um, COVID-19. COVID all right, let's so look at... Together. Okay, let's look at the uh, issue um, of relaxing the lock down further, easing restrictions and all of that. Uh, Mr. Liu uh, from the PTF is alluding to this, but on a daily we have, the, the, the case has jumped from 100 plus we have every day to now between 200 plus and 300 uh, figures on a daily basis. And we're talking about continuing relaxation of restriction. What, when, 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 when you hear um, the PTF uh, team talk about continued relaxation and people getting back to work and trying to make good the new normal, what comes to your mind? Well, I, I, I think um, we cannot uh, continue to place people on restriction forever. 
because uh, other aspects of our lives, uh, social life, economic life, is, um, is suffering as a result. So, so the, 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 the lockdown should be eased, but then the people need to be properly educated and be more responsible, you know, to carry themselves in such a way that, that the, 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 the continuous spread of COVID-19 is drastically reduced. For but instance, it's not, it's if not reducing. Go out, it's not reducing. That's the concern. A community transmission is active now. And there are yes. indications that the testing is being limited. Yes, that's a natural challenge. We are not testing enough. So we are not even identifying those who are COVID-19 positive. That's a big challenge for our country. And then if the government can, can, can up their game, to, to, to make this testing readily available to all who need it. If possible, test everyone. But then, when, where we can't test everyone, we should make the, 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 the testing accessible to most of the people. Because when you, when, when you identify those who are infected, then you can put measures, you know, to, to, to keep them in isolation. Or what one would say, targeted restriction. So it will now help others who are not infected to go about their normal business. But then we know that COVID-19 is spread by people. All right. So easing the, easing the lockdown is good, but it should not be a total easing. Nobody recommended that for now because we still have um, active community trans tra transmission going on in Nigeria. All right. What about the um, comments, the new testing protocol? Uh, Ihe Kwazu talked, uh, talked about the fact that those who... A test negative after testing positive once is enough for them to be discharged to go on home isolation for a few more days before they're released to the society. Before now, we had you test the first time, you test the second time to be sure that you are virus free before you are released from the isolation center. Um, is this a good thing, really, making the test just one? And beyond that, why did we get to this point before we chose to do one test a day? One test to confirm, rather, that somebody is no longer positive. Well, when you do the when you do one test and and it's negative, you you only do the second one to be double sure. But now with the new recommendation, I, I think it's still okay if that person go home is self isolated self isolate for 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 one week, and then before integrating um, him or herself into the society. Now now the challenge is that. With the number of persons being tested now, and we are getting more cases, you will now discover that our, our health system is already weak. You know, we, we might just get overwhelmed. I mean, the treatment centers. So those who, so those who, are, who have been tested should um, and test negative ones can go home, can go home and maintain self-isolation for, for that short period of time. So I don't think there's anything wrong with that, given the fact that uh, our, we are at great risk of, of, of overwhelming our system. All right. Uh, the Minister of Health and the WHO have all said we're not seeing the end yet. The minister particularly talked about um, the need for Nigerians to prepare for the worst. My question would be, how do we ensure, from your experience as a medical doctor and from observing the trends that has come up from COVID-19, how do we ensure that Nigeria does not get to a worst-case scenario? Yes, I... I if we must not get to, to, to this worst-case scenario, one is that we must establish a very strong surveillance system so that we identify those who are infected and take measures to isolate and treat them. That is one way we can, we can, we can make sure we don't get to that, um, that worst-case scenario. Secondly, those who are meant to enforce the, the, the existing measures. You know, I mentioned about um, uh, security personnel, they are reports all over the place that they, they take bribe from people and allow them to move from areas that, that have maybe active, reactive uh, transmission or high burden areas, if you will. They, they, they collect money from this one and allow these people to move freely into areas that don't even have um, much of COVID-19 cases. So we, we, we need more responsibility on, 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 um, on, on the security personnel and even the citizens. People go out, for instance, in, in areas where um, there's universal application of face masks. People still go out and they don't put on their face masks. You look at people wearing face masks, they are wearing on their chin, on their neck. So 
people are not really applying these measures. So what, what we expect, if we mustn't get to that worst case scenario, is, is for the citizens of this country to be more responsible in, 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 in adhering to, to the preventive measures that have been prescribed. You, you go in the street, there are people moving about, they don't have hand sanitizers. You go to places where, where they provide buckets um, um, for hand washing. You see, wow. they, 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 most places, you, when, you, when you visit them, they have just plain water, no soap. And in some places, the soap is so dirty that you, you don't even want to touch it. So people need to be more responsible to adhere to, um, to the prescribed measures. Those who are transporters who are allowed to move within state, you, you discover that they still flout, flout the rules. They are right. still overloading passengers. So right. uh, there's a call for Nigerians to be more responsible. Everything right. doesn't have to be government. People just need to know that this thing is real. It's out there, the, it's out there spreading, and you can get it from anyone. All so right, Dr. anyone going out, yes, anyone going out should just be responsible enough to apply the measures. All right, thank that you very much. For you're advocating yeah. individual responsibility to help yes, with yes. Uh, managing the spread. Thank you so much uh, for your time. Thank you.